My name is Goldie Simon. Um, I'm the mother of uh, Carl Simon, um, and I'm from Naples Valley First Nation the, in Cambridge, mm-hmm. Nova Scotia. Annapolis Valley First Nation School, um, and it's on the Annapolis Valley First Nation Reserve. This school's from grade primary to grade 12, and also um, offers an adult um, program as well. They teach all different uh, ages of students um, that wouldn't um, necessarily go to like a regular school. Uh, this school is, um, it helped my son with, um, he had like a um, anxiety and depression and like they said a learning disability of like a memory loss. It just come on him like when he was 15. And um, so then he didn't go to school. He had to get, I had to keep getting him medical notes cause, cause of what happened. He wouldn't um, get out of bed or anything like that. So then the next year, I think when he was 16, he went to school, to regular school a little bit, but then wasn't able to. So then um, I didn't really know what to do as a parent. So then I talked to Diana McLean. She was one of the, um, the teachers here. And I said, well, if there's any way you could help help me to get my son and at least his grade 12 in education. And I said, it's not, um, I tried the uh, regular school, but they didn't seem to have options available for him. Just doctor's notes and a whole bunch of homework and stuff like that. But um, this school, um, he, he was able to um, take homework back and then he didn't feel as, um, I guess, labeled, I guess. I'm not sure. Like, um, and it's like with his own, like people, like Indian people, so he feels better. Like other students. And they also have like, um, um, I don't wanna say learning disabilities, but like um, even like even health problems, which a regular, a regular school doesn't seem to like fit his needs that this year school did and it made him blossom like as a person. I'm hoping that my son will graduate and um, get his grade 12 and uh, move on like forward to get maybe more education and like beat his disabilities. He may still have it rest of his life, but at least he'll be able to learn how to how to cope and to like speak in society. To be successful and um, not to give up if they're if um, he's struggling, not to give up and they keep um, encouraging the students to um, keep going, don't matter what type of struggle they have. They give them opportunity like to apply for um, different things that he's interested in. Uh, the carriers of youth um, or voices. Um, he, he had opportunity to apply for that, to talk about like education and his struggles and um, to present in Ottawa the past week. Um, he had that opportunity before I'd never ever thought that he would even be able to do that <laughs> like a few years ago. But now with through this uh, education program, he's he's able to um, even talk in front of people and uh, do that. There's one student, uh, she also had anxiety. And um, now she's... Uh, far as I know, going to be working at the daycare and uh, continuing her studies online while she's working. And she had already graduated from grade 12, far as I know, in December. And um, 
it really helped her also. A very big difference in the students. Um, and also, um, they help adults as well. And um, Debbie uh, <laughs> is also successful going to university for three or four years, quite a while, I think. So she's really successful as well. So it's a great opportunity to have this school. It's really beneficial on the reserve. I was really, um, I, I uh, was almost given up myself, on, my, on myself as well as Kyle, but I, I try not to give up. And um, it was so hard dealing with um, the anxiety and depression, even though he may be like he's on medication. Um, just to have the extra support right in the community and with the, the teachers involved where they have like learning disability backgrounds and um, they're able to um, teach, teach uh, children. So that way, as a parent, my job involves like traveling as well at times. So it makes me feel um, that my son's safe in the community. He has a safe place to go to. Like when I used to go away and I said, well, go up to the learning center when he was younger. And I said, you'll be safe there, a safe space. Um, so that would make me feel better as a parent, knowing that he's safe if I'm gone away. They can get their learning. You can learn here. And it's like um, a safe place. And they've become successful with encouragement from the teachers. And as well, they're within their community. And they can have like, um, um, like their culture and traditionals. Or if there's an elder they need to talk to, they'll be able to talk to an elder. And then I think the teachers will encourage that as well. Before, a um, few years ago, he, he um, wasn't really interested in the culture. Well, I seemed like he wasn't. But now it seems like as he's um, amongst other students and the teachers, he's more aware of it. And he seems to be um, participating more, like into making crafts and learning about history and the language. He really enjoyed that. If we can get the word out, um, yeah, this is an excellent program. I don't know what I would have done for my son. I try to homeschool him, but then it was getting hard. You can't, sometimes you can't like make a living and homeschool, do everything. Yeah, I would support it very well for other parents with them. Um, children with um, not in, not going to the right, like a, I guess, um, how would you put it? Um, but not private school would be, um, so the uh, school for like all native children that's having like struggling and prov problems in like a normal school, a regular school, even though they think they should be like um, amongst other people. I think this here would make them able to go amongst like other individual people more than putting them in the regular school. My son probably wouldn't have been successful. Right now it seems, seems to be going good, but probably more funding maybe um, for like maybe more teachers eventually or more um, more space eventually, so it could get bigger. I, I really support this school because it really helped my son and it's helping a lot of the other students up here that probably wouldn't be able to go to the regular school. It's education for Aboriginal people, for all different kinds of, um, if Inuit, Mi'kmaq, all different nations, First Nations. 
I would support it um, because it's really helping. It helped me as a parent, and it helped my son and a lot of um, students, right from young students right till grade 12 and adults. So it's beneficial to all, to everybody.